Greetings to everyone. This is Chirayu. So yesterday I had thought about which is the best non-fiction book. So I went on researching and so I found Bhagavad Gita. So I went exploring more and what I found was that there were many successful and famous personalities or scientists who used to read Bhagavad Gita and even quote about it. So today I listed a few meaningful and powerful shlokas or verses which would help us progress. So the contents are leadership qualities, learning without distraction, and the art of perfection. Now, leadership qualities. So here are two verses from Bhagavad Gita which speaks about leadership qualities. Of course, there are more, but I have chosen two only. Bhagavad Gita 3.21 Whatever action a great man performs, common men follow. And whatever standard he sets by exemplary acts, all the world pursues. Yeah. So it is an important feature because we see people after gaining popularity, they kind of become overconfident and they behave accordingly. But one should remember common men will follow them always. So on the right hand side, we have the qualities a leader should have. Light, like simplicity, non-violence, truthfulness, freedom from anger and aversion to fault finding. So a leader must have these qualities. Gaining knowledge. So in 2022, a research was conducted in which we got to know children between the age eight to 14 years are spending more than three hours a day on social media in India. And due to this, children are lacking face-to-face -face communication and this is also distracting them. For these people, Bhagavad Gita gives advice to control their distraction. Lord Sri Krishna said, O mighty armed son of Kunti, it is undoubtedly very difficult to curb this restless mind, but it is possible by suitable practice and by detachment. By practice and by detachment. So this is the solution for the distracted minds which is by practice and by detachment. And now on the right hand side, verse talks about the right way of acquiring knowledge. So these qualities a person should be having for acquiring knowledge in a right way, like humility, pridelessness, non-violence, tolerance, mm -hmm. and the main detachment from the general mass of the people. Now after dealing with distraction, we have the art of perfection. Attention to detail. Bhagavad Gita 2.14 Those who are on this path are resolute in purpose and their aim is one. O beloved child of the Kurus or Arjun, the intelligence of those who are irresolute is many branched. So basically it is explained to have one goal and be resolute in purpose and aim should be one only. One should not have many goals and so having many goals will make oneself irresolute in purpose or many branched and so why only one person out of thousand achieves perfection so in Bhagavad Gita 7 chapter it is explained out of many thousands among men one may endeavor for perfection and of those who have achieved perfection hardly one knows main truth so it is a pride moment for India because we have the jewel of the knowledge the Bhagavad Gita but unfortunately, we are disregarding it due to the westernization, thinking it to be superior. But we have so much to learn from our culture or Bhagavad Gita. So creating an awareness about it, it's so much required. The king of the knowledge is there in our shelf. Thank you.